thing that there's the green dot that you look at here's some button issues on a Rykirk AT555 hasn't been used for about a year to kick the unit on this is a tonometer you hit any bunny button to continue now these five buttons the tactile buttons when you click on it there should be a little bit of noise you hear tactical feedback that can be turned on the software that one works this one works this one works this one I just barely got to work now this return one will work if I really mash on it hard I'm trying to get back now this is for the test air puff to show up patient when I first turned this on only one of these two these two buttons worked I believe and I had to really play with this one and this one and so I don't know if the rubber piece membrane underneath is kind of bad but I ended up it should have a clicking noise if you've got it set up with the software that's the air puff this is to get into a menu here this one is what you normally use to uh, check the interocular pressure and it's really difficult to press so this is the test one you use now the unit's looking for an eyeball to do a puff on and the left right is controlled by the over here so left right but the purpose of this is that when I first turned this on it was acting like it's dead so I thought I had a bad capacitor or something it was just the knobs were just uh, I usually leave the software so it goes through and um, let's go through the setup here setup tonometer miscellaneous communication print tonometer now this is the back this must be enter readiness get the pressure symbols let me go back But this button here is just really the devil here now. I've spent about 10 minutes playing this, this thing and finally got it to... Uh, so I've got the tone set on here. And I like that because it because when I first got this thing, the buttons worked pretty well, but it got to be some... Last time I used it before, it was like this. So it just needs to be used. There's the sleep time language, English, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. Go back. But because this is probably the most used button, because you use this every time to do a test, that's probably why it's gotten to be most ornery. That's the AT555 by Riker. So here's the, it knows which, you got your chin on here, or the, your forehead, this is the left eye, that's for the right eye. And then there's the magic thing that, there's the green dot that you look at. And so when it's not in use, you should kick the cover off this thing. Keep a cover on there for dust. Here's 
some readings right there. A little bit high. Got three, you can have it to it's got an average there. After three readings, you can have it set up to do an average. You can print that out. There's a time, 1-11-2021. There's three of them and an average. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that with the right eye. It's got R. Now you put this, slide it over, and you put your noggin on here and you look into that dreaded little sensor. Just did the left eye, it's a little bit less. Then you can hit this to print this out. The thermal printer. Now here's how you ch change the paper. This unit's actually got a computer interface here. Right there is a port. And you can also print out a histogram of all the tests that you've ever taken on the unit like this.